Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tana and welcome to Crypto Bible. I have a very interesting video for you guys today and hopefully by the end of it, you can become a little bit more organized. It is all to do with a portfolio tracker. I do believe that everyone should have one of these. Of course, you can track your portfolio on the exchanges themselves. They can show you profit and loss or wherever it may be. But I do prefer to use a certain app because it gives you a lot of data, a lot of information, and it's very, very good to look at every time you wanna track your portfolio and give you all the data that you need, even going back a long time too. So today I'm going to present to you how to use a app called Delta Investment Tracker. It's a step-by-step -step process again. You guys know the drill now. I tried to make things as easy as possible for you all. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So why is it important to keep track of your portfolio? It's important to understand where your portfolio has been and where it's heading. Crypto can easily cause a smokescreen because people become blind through all the hype. There can be times where you have made some unreal amounts of money, but your mind just doesn't act upon it. Delta offers an excellent overview of your entire portfolio so you can easily track and manage your earnings. You also feel a sense of organization once you have set up yourself with a tracker like Delta. In this presentation, I'm going to teach you how to set up and use Delta. So guys, step one, go to your app store and download Delta Investment Tracker. This tutorial will all be shown on my desktop, however, it is the exact same steps as being on your phone. Once downloaded and open, this is what you will see. Delta will offer you a quick introduction on how to get started. You can also click that option to learn more. However, I will be showing you everything you need to know and do this in this video anyway. Therefore, you can go ahead and click no, I'll figure things out. Step three, you wanna go ahead and click create a portfolio by adding your first transaction. I'll come back to the rest of the features shortly. So firstly, go ahead and click that plus button as shown in the picture. Step four, you need to choose the type of transaction you want. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add manual transactions and how to connect an exchange account too. But what are the differences? So guys, manual transactions versus connecting an exchange account. Now, manual transactions basically means that you are adding each transaction manually. You can tell Delta that you just added 100 XRP. Delta will then add 100 XRP to your portfolio and tell you in real time what the price of XRP is. Then you can proceed to do this for all your holdings. However, what does connecting an exchange account do? This means you can connect any exchange you hold crypto on to Delta. This will allow Delta to track every trade and holding you have executed on that exchange, therefore giving you a much more detailed and precise tracker. It also allows Delta to provide you with a lot more information on your holdings, such as the prices you purchased your holdings at, the prices you sold at, a graph with a bunch of information regarding profit and losses, and lots more. In other words, connecting your exchange to Delta will give you the full detailed experience in tracking and managing your portfolio. We will start with the manual transaction, so you just wanna go ahead and click add manual transaction. Step five, you then wanna go ahead and click crypto. Step six, find the crypto you would like to add your portfolio. In this example, I have used Luna. Step seven, once you have clicked on the crypto that you would like to add to your portfolio, this is what you will see. You'll be presented with three tabs at the top, buy, sell, and transfer. In this example, I will show you how to add Luna to your portfolio manually. Firstly, we will need to add a trading pair. I find everything to be the easiest with the USD trading pair. So click trading pair first, and then find the USD trading player and then click it. Next, you need to add the amount of that crypto that you hold in the amount brought box, then click add transaction. You do not need to add the buy price in USD. Delta will update the prices in real time for you. Buying 50 Luna at $10 and still holding that 50 Luna, which is now worth $5, does not change the amount of Luna you have. Therefore, you do not need to remember or add what price you brought Luna at. Once you clicked add transaction, you can see that 50 Luna has now been added to my portfolio and Delta will now track it for me in real time. On this screen, you can see the following things. You can see your overall portfolio worth, the 24 hour change in percentage or profit and loss. You can also change the timeframes by clicking here where the arrow is pointing. And you can see the name of the crypto you are holding, how much of the crypto you are holding, and the live price of that crypto. To change the currency, simply click the overall portfolio worth figure. You can then switch between seeing the overall figure in euros, pounds, dollars, and Bitcoin. To add a new transaction, click the plus sign in the bottom right. I will do one more manual example with XRP. So go ahead and click add manual transaction. Search and add XRP. Click trading pair. 
and add the USD trading pair. Once done, add the amount of XRP you brought in this box shown here in this picture and click add transaction. And you can see XRP is now added. If you wanted to sell a portion of your holdings, simply click the crypto you want to sell, go over to transactions tab and click sell. Input however much you have sold and then click add transaction. You can then find all your manually added transactions here. So as you can see guys, the manual transactions, you've literally got to do absolutely everything yourself. Add however much you are holding. Once you have sold, go back onto Delta and tell them how much you've sold. So everything literally is manual. It's very accurate, but it does take long sometimes. So I'm going to be showing you how to add everything by connecting your exchange as well. If you wanted to remove the entire amount of crypto you are holding, simply go to your portfolio and click the crypto you want to remove. Then click these three dots in the top right corner and then click remove from portfolio. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect your exchange to Delta. This is the option I recommend people to do as it gives you a lot more information about your entire portfolio. It's also a lot more accurate and you do not even need to do anything once you connect your exchange. So this time you wanna go ahead and click connect exchange account. You want to find the exchange you want to connect. In this example, I will use Binance. Click I understand. And you will now be asked to enter your API key and API secret. I will now show you where you can find these on your Binance. So obviously step one would be needing to go over to your Binance on your desktop and hover over your account logo and click API management. Name your API Delta and click create API. Once you have done your security verifications, Click edit restrictions and disable spots and margin trading. So you just click that box there shown in this picture and then click save. Copy your API key and secret and head back to Delta. Paste your key and secret into the boxes below. And here you just have to uh, click the import box. And when you click that, it will ask you what type of import you'd like to do. Make sure you click import all transactions as this can now track everything for you. And then once you've done that, click add connection. Click sync all connections, then wait around five minutes for the syncing to complete. Once fully synced, your entire portfolio connected to that exchange will appear. Delta will now track everything for you. If you now want to make a trade or a sale in that exchange, Delta will automatically update your portfolio for you, giving you a complete portfolio tracker which you can refer back to as and when you want. You can also purchase Delta Pro for a fee of £52.98 a year. I recommend doing this as it actually gives you plenty of access to more features within the app, as well as providing you with multiple graphs, metrics and data all to do with your portfolio. If you're a geek like me and you like tracking your portfolio with, with loads of graphs and everything else, you can go ahead and buy it. And that guys is how to use Delta. Um, it is very, very simple to do, but very effective. And I definitely recommend you do it uh, to get yourself organized. I do find it important that people do get organized rather than just buying a crypto and then just holding it and not knowing anything about it. Track everything you're doing because then you can improve yourself in the future as well. So definitely check it out. And like I said, if you want to go through this presentation step by step, pause the video as you're going along and complete the steps with me. Otherwise, guys, thank you all very much for watching. If you've got any questions at all about Delta or any other portfolio tracker that you want me to cover for you, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, please do like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when we upload a video, and I will see you soon.